Come on, let's go to the house. Okay, dude, let's do it. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Brent from Brent's Van Life. I think I lost my mojo. The dude is uh, keeping an eye out for prairie dogs. It's chilly this morning at 10 degrees out here in Fox Warren, Manitoba. We are on the border of the Saskatchewan and Manitoba border. Um, I basically dropped my buddy off, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. Everybody say bye to Andrew. And um, we're coming back into Saskatchewan. I really hadn't planned on going into Manitoba. I was planning on just scooting around but since Andrew lives in Ontario I decided to hang out with him just long enough to uh, get him about halfway home and, you know and have some great adventures along the way I think as we are just on the go and traveling way too much f for me being the old guy that I am and the health that I'm in that my body said Okay, Brent, it's time. <laughs> I will be uh, cleaning up this gong show of a mess. Everything is everywhere, as you can see, living like a true bachelor. But we're going to take this day and get things ready. Um, first stop. Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Don't ask me why. <laughs> they have stores there, and right now we're traveling the back roads, and there's nothing. Just mom pa stores and stuff like this, and I need a Canadian tire and possibly a Walmart. We got some productive activity. <laughs> yeah. I told you I was in a slump. Productivity done in the last few hours we got some editing done i'm playing around with a new concept the bed and uh, pants are out for when i get ready we pulled some stuff out for dinner and it's bath time cold water soap and hot water not to worry i'll save you all the ugly details but basically that's what I do. I have my towel here. So this will go on the floor to protect my carpet from getting too wet. And I usually just stand in front of the wash basin and scrub myself down. And this time it deserves a good scrubbing. This guy's been dying to go outside. I just let him outside and we extended his leash and he could actually make it to one of the groundhog, uh, groundhog prairie dog holes. So he was, Going nuts. Look, did I show you my new ARB on it? Pretty nice. Haven't installed it yet, but yeah, there's my bath mat. There's my bathtub. Are you having a bath too? <laughs> I hate that word, Dad. It's time. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie. That was some pretty dirty soapy water. So I'm doing a rinse cycle on this bath just to make sure I get everything off of me. And it's nothing better than having a, a nice hot face cloth rubbed on your body. I feel good. I think I'm finding my mojo. Come on, stay away from the picnic table. You get stuck every time. 
anyways 90% cleaned it smells great in here we're all cleaned up the van's all cleaned up I'm just gonna cook dinner here tonight so I'm not going anywhere but I do have to clean out the back of the van after all that logging road stuff we were on oh my god it is just dirty as crap back there so might have to take a spray bottle clean up the old high boy scooter break out the old uh barbecue and uh get some uh, pork chops and chicken on there mm, okay well so much for a barbecue <laughs> I guess I'll bring out my, uh, what do they call those skillets? You know, the big black ones? I'm gonna bring out one of those, I think, and we'll uh, pan fry up uh, probably just the pork chops tonight. We'll do the chicken on the barbecue tomorrow. It's <sighs> a tough life. <laughs> It's really starting to pour down rain. So no, definitely no barbecue. We even had to light the fire to warm it up in here. That should be turned down fairly soon because we've been prepping dinner. I'm gonna throw them into uh, my cast iron skillet, cover them with a little bit of water and oil. We'll let them cook down till they start to get crispy. And then we're gonna toss in the pork chops. Heck. Maybe even a can of cream of mushroom soup. You know, kick it up a notch, guys. <laughs> Bachelor surprise. <sighs> oh, yeah, of course, it's got to be buried, right? It's always the last one out. There we go. Come on. Uh, there we go. Yes. I guess I gotta fill that baby up. I've never done that before, but my theory is I'm gonna get this hot, put the potato and onion in, it'll steam. And when the water evaporates, it'll cook. In theory, it sounds like it'll work. Oh, let's find out. <laughs> A little Greek seasoning. And we'll cover it with a lid. Okay, let's see if it works. He had a tough day chasing prairie dogs. <laughs> I think that idea is gonna work. I'm gonna let it boil down so they get all nice and softer. And uh, yeah. Hmm. Throwing a little garlic on. I prefer salt over powder. But to each their own. And I'm seeing these salt. Now, I do one side with seasoning salt and garlic salt, and then I pat it down and flip it over, and then do the other side with salt and pepper. So we get the full, like, you know, full menu deal. <laughs> Let's flip it over. Well, they're still a little frozen, so that should make a good cook. Flip, flip, salt and pepper. Peppered up, salt going on. There we go. And yeah, we'll just wait for this to get done. Look at that. Oh, the mushrooms would have been nice, eh? Potatoes, pork. You gonna fit in there? Two of them. Mm. Well, 
gonna make it fit. <laughs> Dude, guess what? <laughs> We're adding cream of mushroom soup. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Ah, Windex won't hurt it. Cool. My chicken needs to go back in the fridge. I need to seal up my oil a little bit better and restore it. But pork's cooking. We'll put the potatoes back in on top and pour this over top and we'll recover it. And just to be ultra, ultra lazy. I'm gonna let it cool in the frying pan and eat it out of the frying pan because I am uber lazy today. Looking good. There we go. Have a look. Okay. Meat looks perfect. Meat and potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. Perfection if I say so myself. I just turned the heat off. I'm gonna let it sit for about half an hour. We'll get it down to a temperature that I can at least get the frying pan onto a cutting board. And then we'll have dinner. I couldn't wait. While I was waiting, I cracked the beer and started watching Willie's truck life and he was cooking. So I was like, I'm hungry. <laughs> so what I did is I cut some of the pork chop up Threw it into a small bowl and then topped it with some of that gravy and potatoes. So we got a little snack a rooney while I watch Willie cook. Figured I'd show you what I'm doing here is throwing my cut meat up in here. Got a piece or two, dude. There we go. I'll be right back. Wanted to make sure the dude got some. Scrape up the potatoes and the gravy. Slide it all in. Mix it around. Oh my God, this is so good. Might not look like much, but it sure tastes good. Mm. A bon appetit. Mm. Mm. Delicious. These are sprayed down with some soapy water. We filled this full of water because I really don't feel like cleaning things up right at this moment. Everything's cleaned up. I brought my injection out for later and um, I think I'm going to call it a night. It's uh, 7 o'clock. And um, it's wet. It's miserable. It's time to go lie down and watch some YouTube. You know, like you guys do. So with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and granola. And uh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Tune in and find out. He rap. We're sitting here watching hockey cars <laughs> and the wind is blowing my bus around it is like pouring down rain it's just like insane it has not given up we got like little lakes showing up out here in the road holy i hope our little prairie dogs don't get drowned in their holes holy crap man look at this are you scared little boy are you scared? It's a storm happening out there, buddy. It's crazy.
non-stop. Holy.